four, three, two, one. <laughs> All right. Uh, hi, everybody. Welcome to the Jenkins Advocacy and Outreach SIG. Today is March 24th. Make sure I have my date right. So on the agenda, I have um, the discussion to remove Jenkins is the way on the Jumbotron. Um, the Ukraine imagery messaging on Jenkins.io. Um, Jenkins is the way hosting site. GSOC and CDCon. Is there anything else that we should add to the agenda? Nope. Okay. Those, those look good to me. Okay. Okay, let's get the party started. All right, so um, remove Jenkins is the way on the Jumbotron. So I, uh, I know John Mark has been doing some work on that. You wanna give us an update on that, John Mark? Uh, Actually, I think that one was my action item, Alyssa. Sorry for me jumping in, John Mark. Okay, sorry. So John Good. Mark's, John Mark, oh, go ahead. So, so uh, sorry. So what I did was adding the CDCon announcement. Yep, but, we saw that. Uh, I, I don't remember removing or being asked to, be, to remove the Jenkins is the way. Right, and that was my mistake. So Alyssa, let's put the action item on me to remove uh, Jenkins is the way from the Jumbotron. It's an easy removal. Or, okay. or we could have, John Mark, I think you're at the end of your day. So it's probably just quicker for me to do it just because yeah. we get it done. I, I, I'm sorry that I forgot to do it. I just completely forgot. Now, and the Jenkins is the way dot IO dot Jenk or the Jenkins is the way dot IO is available for us as a URL for quite a while, right? It's at least until end of this month. And the, the, you renewed the DNS, Alyssa. So we own the, we still own the, own the, the name for that, right. even if we don't have the hosting for it ultimately. Yes. Okay. okay. Good. Now we do, we do have a, we probably want to do a, could you put a separate note here, Alyssa, that we need to work with the infra team to make a redirect from the old location to the new stories.jenkins.io location when it's available. Uh, we're on the written old. From the old location mm. to the new location. And that's that's a good enough description. Okay. After, um, or we should actually put after the new location is available. Okay. Great. And this is your action item, Mark, or who is? Yes, that's for me. Okay. Yeah. So, so this is this is a little bit of, of domain name server uh, configuration stuff that we need to do, and we may need to work with you to get the permissions to do it. But ultimately, it's it's something that the infra team can help with. Okay. All right. Moving on to the next topic. Okay, um, so Ukraine invasion by Russia and the Jenkins project. So proposals to temporarily change the Jenkins logo on Jenkins.io to support the Ukraine um, war or the Ukraine issue. Um, the board has agreed that CDF message can be placed on the site immediately, but would move to vote and more discussion to be had about the Cossack uh, image as Oleg has concerns. So I know that Jean-Marc is working on that. Thank you, Jean-Marc. And I'm working to obtain the SVG file for you. If you still need that? Yes. So I, I can show you a prototype of uh, uh, what I have. I, I quickly whipped something together uh, with uh, a Gitpod. Uh, so do you want me to show that? Sure. Should I stop sharing? Uh, yes, because okay. then I'm going to share my screen. So there we are. Um, so this is Gitpod. I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger. Hmm. 
And so what we're seeing right now, John Mark, is an IDE view, right? Right, correct. So uh, this is where uh, the configuration is living here. I'm on the on my fork uh, and on the master branch. And uh, so I have uh, the, the local environment running and I can see it. So it's running uh, on in the cloud. Uh, and this is how it looks uh, uh, currently. Mm -hmm. And see the size of the icon here. Uh, I am going to change now. This is in my way. There, uh, I'm going to change the branch here from master uh, to uh, stop the war one. It will reload, and uh, either it does it, or I need to restart the server. There oh, we are. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a cool demo, John Mark. Yeah. You, 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 rock. <laughs> nice. But, uh, there's huge potential with uh, with that tool, especially for Jenkins.io uh, to do these kind of experiments. So uh, uh, enough sales pitch. Uh, this is how the icon that I have been provided looks like. So uh, it is. Uh, so the comments are: there is a white background here because it's a, G a JPEG. So there is a little glitch here. We see the difference between white. Mm -hmm. in gray there and the image is uh uh wider than the initial one so that means that mm -hmm. the sizing is not equal to the other uh the jenkins is is smaller uh this will this will be an issue to have it as large as the other in the same uh, rendering but i think well this is what i what i got uh, working. John Mark, just for experience, would you be willing to make your screen increase if this Chrome do a control plus? I want to increase the zoom factor. Yeah, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, and it's still, it's still looking okay. Good. All right. Yeah. You go back so down this now. Is the, the largest uh, I have. Make it a little bit more reasonable. So the picture works, the JPEG would work, but I'm I'm bothered by the background. So sure. either we make it transparent. Well, and, and we can we could convert the JPEG to a PNG and then make well, the background yeah. transparent with some online tools. I've got an online tool I've used that will make yeah. make an image background transparent. So yeah, or um, what's her name? Uh, Ksenia. Yeah, Xenia can um, yeah. and supply I... the other one. So, so uh, unless we don't want to continue uh, over-engineer the resizing. So right. um, I did reach out to her this morning and she's been quite responsive, but I'd wait until let's give it to like towards the end of my day here and for her to respond. Um, but she said she's really, it's really important to her and she appreciates that we're using this image for this messaging. Okay. Yeah. Um, so Jean-Marc, you mentioned about the sizing. Uh, uh, uh -huh. Is there a specific sizing that I should give her to resize the image? No? no? Well, well what... go ahead, John. Yeah, sorry. Uh, so uh, for the dirty details, uh, the image can be resized uh, that way. This is ah, the maximum excellent. I can do. Okay. Because then going above, like because this is how I, I force the width, uh, going further uh, uh, it gets clipped uh, by uh, the, 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 the inner working of the, of the system. Then to get that working, I, I need to start getting into the plumbing and uh, so for me if there are no remarks on the sizing uh well, it's it's the best we can we can have and is good enough okay in my humble opinion okay it, it doesn't doesn't hurt the eye so right okay um i also had asked Ksenia to um 
you know, uh, sent us a an image with just the regular butler. Uh -huh. um, since we're going to be talking more about this and voting on it, I thought we'd give another option just in case if there's, because when I received this image from Ksenia, I also question what is this, you know, the, the character mean, Yeah. right? So, and it seems like Oli had the same question. So I figured somebody else is going to have the same question. So I, um, so let's see what she comes back with. I think the, the, the second option is again, just the regular Butler image with the flag in the back in the circle and that flag stop the war messaging. Okay, I'm going to show it uh, again. So we no longer should reload. Here you see, yeah. here you see clearly the sizing uh, yeah. uh, thing, so. So changing the background here to have the Ukraine uh, mm -hmm. and uh, some wording stop the war, the, yeah. the war or something like that. Yeah, she may do something with his eyes because now his eyes are closed, or she might have it open. I I don't know, right. but well, yes. and and I like that Oleg Oleg noted that the captain icon had switched, they switched theirs, which is a relatively simpler icon to mm -hmm. use the Ukrainian flag colors as a background. Mm -hmm. So the, the red, I think was what you were alluding to John Mark here could yeah. be, could be the two colors of the flag of Ukraine. So interesting idea. Yeah. Yeah. Get put, change their logo also to have the two colors. Oh, mm. Nice. Okay. So there. Uh, if I get two images, so first question, do I fire this as a pull request? Do I wait for a better image? Well, I can I, uh, mention it as a comment and fire a second one if we have an alternate picture. I'd put it up as a pull request so we can use that as a way for people to view and discuss it because I had to think a little bit about what it meant based on the wording in the posting on community.jenkins.io as I think people will, will do a better job if they experience it by going right to the product, the preview site. So if yep. you're okay with doing a, a pull request, John Mark, I think it would be really great to have a pull request just because we could do a preview site of it. Yeah, everything is ready and, and uh, I, can, I can do that. Okay, so good for me. I think we looked at a practical example. So I can stop sharing, I believe. And we showed off dynamic development using a web hosted Jenkins.io site. Well done, John. <laughs> <laughs> I need to prepare an, 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 uh, uh, something to show off. Okay. Great work. All right, okay, so we're gonna move on. Jenkins is the way site hosting on the and url update uh, just a, just a little question uh, the yes. board message uh, uh so text in this we leave we leave for a second phase a not second not for a second phase but for a second poll request that i'll submit separately john mark because okay. the board said yes go ahead no vote needed it's the same text that cdf used let's get it in there Whereas yours will be using your pull request will use for evaluation discussion. The other right. one, I'm going to get it in there and get it merged pretty quickly. And where are you going to put the text? Don't know yet. I have to go find the place on the page. Because well, uh, I I know where where it is. Uh, if, if you allow me, um, uh, Alyssa, can I show my screen again? So. Yes. Stop Sorry to be nitpicking, but no, uh, this is great. It can um, share, so there we are. Um, so uh, this is controlled. So this text here uh, is controlled at the same place as the, uh, the icon. So this is where uh, uh, we could put it. We just need to see how it flows in, in these kind of details. Otherwise, and, it needs to be in the jumbotron. And I, I like where you highlight it. I think that's the best choice for where to put it. So I, I will, I will propose that as the location, and then we can look at it in the preview to see how it, how it flows. Okay. 
um, but uh, we won't separate PRs. Otherwise, you you look at where right. I change it, and uh, just right. to show you here, um, this is where it happens. Yeah. So Thank this you. is where I I put the the image, and this is here where you can. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, sorry for the interruption, but these little details can save us time. Back to you, Elisa. You're on mute. Still on, still on mute, sorry about that. Um, okay, you can see my screen now? Yes. Yep. Okay. Um, See, moving on to the next topic. So the hosting of the site for Jenkins is the way I we decided stories.jenkins.io. Anything else you want to add to this, Mark? Gavin Mogan shared that he's making good progress on it and, and has good hopes that he'll be done with it by the end of March. Uh, he may be done with it before that. He said hey, he's got the, the caching configuration ready that's used for the content distribution network on Fastly. He's got um, the Gatsby site done. He's got the repository ready. So it's, it's getting very close. He just needs a little bit more time to work on it and felt like he'll, he's pretty confident he'll have it done before the end of March. Okay, great. And, and by the way, he's he's using this also as an, a place to experiment with alternate site generation techniques, with other things that may ultimately help us on Jenkins.io, on the oh. documentation site. So he's 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 doing the great kind of stuff that Gavin does. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 a lot of he has spent a lot of time on it, so I really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, so. Moving on to Google Summer of Code. Um, how did the one hour brainstorming went, Mark? I For me, I was thrilled with it. We had, so we had Rishab, who was a former GSOC, GSOC student. And we also had Harshit, who was interested but unable to attend, who wants to mentor as well. So we had two additional mentors, plus me, plus Chris Stern and two candidates involved and one who couldn't be there. So we had four of us of a group of six or eight that were interested and had a very good discussion. In the process of the discussion, we found three or four or five different topics where any one of us would have missed it. But because we were all sitting together talking about it, we realized, oh, this is important. This is important. It was one of those experiences of remembering why public and open collaboration is so valuable because we, we benefit from each other. Yes, I admit the two people were, were effectively preparing two different proposals and yet they both benefited by being together to talk about how they think it should be done. Nice demonstration. Right, yeah, yeah. So do you suggest that we do that for other project ideas? That was what we launched this morning. And John Mark, I think, was interested. John Mark, maybe you want to talk about how you envision it working for Plugin Health Score. Yeah, indeed. So uh, the topic was lay, uh, raised at the end of uh, today's uh, office hour. Uh, some very good questions and with uh, uh, different point of views on it. And so we, we agreed or well, there was a strong consensus uh, to make likewise a brainstorm session on the plugin health score uh, initiative. And so the current proposal that was published on the Gitter uh, channel is to hold it on March uh, uh, 31st, hoping that's correct English, uh, at uh, uh, 2 p.m. UTC. Okay. So, and we're going to collect at the same process as for the Git cache. So going to collect as many questions or uh, ideas or topics beforehand. And uh, so that's rolling. Okay. So that's for the plugin health score. Um, what about the rest of the project ideas? Should we, 
Should there, I think plan? it will it will depend on what I'd think is we we watch for that. In order to do one of these brainstorming sessions, we need someone who is very actively willing to run the session, who is actively willing to gather the questions, facilitate, host. And I'm not sure that the other project ideas have, have that same active thing. I would expect, for instance, Chris Stern will probably want to do it, but let's, let's go through a couple of these sessions yeah. so that we, we learn from them before per persuading right. others. Okay. Okay. So one step at a time. Well, at least John Mark, your thoughts. Uh, I I think it's an idea. It helps. Um, let the people come with with a question, and let's feel on the Gitter channel what is the sentiment uh, okay. there, because it's it's I won't say expensive, but energy wise, yeah. it requires the mobilization of resources and stretching time zones right. uh, on that. It's worthwhile to do, but uh, it, it would be a pity to waste it uh, unnecessarily if it can be done uh, right. other ways. So right, is I my, agree. my standpoint. Okay. I think uh, just wanted to correct oh. one thing, uh, Elisa, yeah. on the next line, you're saying there's one proposal, a draft proposal received, uh, there are two, and probably oh. a third one uh, today, but... Uh, did I've the second one just come in, Jean-Marc? I didn't. I've seen it yesterday evening. I have it. I have okay. it on my planning to read it. Okay. Um, a personal comment on that: it's a very powerful method. Oh. Uh, it's not easy to to do. It's it's an important step for the attendees to do, but it's super powerful and uh, it prevents wasting time from the mentors reviewing the proposals. So uh, we definitely need to pro promote that. And uh, the community gains uh, from, uh, from the exercise. So very good idea. The other one is, is uh, I, I'm going to tell you after the, the meeting. So you oh, can I can look it. it up. I can look it up after the meeting. Okay. No worries. I'll, I'll just leave it blank for now. And I'll fill okay. it in after. Um, so we will be doing a call out for mentors to review um, yeah. the proposal drafts. Yeah, even if it's not their speciality. So it is my personal point of view. Already be acquainted on the subject and there are enough comments that can be done on the document by just looking uh, at it and uh, these comments uh, can help the 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 students or or um, always forget the word, but uh, the candidates to have a more powerful uh, uh, presentation. So the more people look at it and comment at it, the better everybody will grow. That sound so, okay, uh, Mark? Okay. Yes. I'm going, to, I'm going to send it out and try out the mailing list for mentors. Um, and then I took a stab at uh, working on a template for grading. And let me see where it's here. Um, so this is just my initial stab at this. I will reach out to previous uh, previous mentors and solicit their feedback. But basically what I have here is a ranking system number from one to five. Jean-Marc and I discussed this in great details yesterday. And um, again, not really knowing what the um, what Google is going to send us. So basically I'm thinking, okay, we'll send, uh, they'll give us a PDF file, we'll have links to it and then links to each of the proposals and then reviews, uh, reviewer notes. I've got reviewer notes and grading from each of the mentors, average score, final decision. So based on, so I will take this and solicit it amongst um, the previous mentors and see what else that we need to add, delete, um, edit. 
Uh, there, are, there are two things we discussed yesterday that we may be, maybe add for. So one thing is we need to describe uh, beforehand how we are going to deal with ties. So meaning when the two, uh, two uh, have the same uh, uh, grade for preventing a straightforward ranking, uh, what is the method, how we vote or, or uh, how, how it works. The second thing uh, that we need to work on is how, what are the questions, what are the things that's being graded? So meaning what is the question that the mentor is answering when uh, accepting or, or not and give some, some guidelines. So we're making progress. Uh, we start to have a good understanding thanks to the, to the work that uh, Alyssa is doing with the, the uh, previous uh, mentors. So looking good, we're getting prepared. So Jean-Marc, I think one of the things, so you mentioned about, you know, how do we resolve ties? So um, in reading Oleg's notes from previous year, the things that's going to, I think the thing that's going to be helpful for us is re the reviewer's notes. So that's going to be looked at carefully. And at least that's what I do too when I'm doing the CFP for DevOps World or CDCon. That's where the reviewer's notes is gonna be come in really handy. But nonetheless, I will still ask that question from our previous mentors, if there's yeah. other techniques or ways to, to cut the, the ties. Yeah, what I want to prevent is, what I want to help us is that we have some objective criterias mm -hmm that we can look at to help us in making a decision. Okay. And that, that the, the decision is not made, there's always at the end uh, a, a human decision, but uh, uh, I, I don't want to fall in, into the pitfall of, yeah, okay, I like this person and uh, I'm choosing him. No, I, mm -hmm. I want it mm -hmm. uh, a, a straight, clear, a process with guidelines and described beforehand. So this is my own personal point of view, as we, we discussed yesterday. Yep, I've been through enough sense. of these <laughs> because it's important for the, for the people. So I, yeah. I, I, we need to respect that. Sure, absolutely. Um, so the question I have is, do we need to do a pull request for this, uh, the template, just to get discussions or input on it, Mark? It's a good. That's a good. Good insight. I, I think we certainly want. Just as John Mark said, we want to find ways to express objective criteria for the evaluation, and the template's a good start for it. Yeah, why not? Okay. I wonder if maybe it ought to be, rather than a pull request, open it as a discussion on, on community.jenkins.io in the mentors list that, that John Mark has started because really. Mm -hmm it's probably good that it be publicly visible discussion, but mm -hmm. that the voices that are being heard are mostly mentors, not, not the candidates themselves saying, hey, I want to be judged by this or that. Okay. So what if we also, so the, 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 the community list that Jean-Marc created, that's for this year's mentors. Mm -hmm. But what, what if we want feedback from previous year's mentors? Dude, if, we... if I would guess that we're unlikely to get a lot of feedback from them, but if we do, we could certainly accept it by email. Okay. And, and then and and serve as a proxy. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Okay. Got it. John Thank Mark, you. does that sound okay to you? If we use yeah, community.jenkins.io, uh, I worry yeah. that if we use a pull request, we will be much less likely to get feedback than the, the very approachable format that community.jenkins.io is. Oh. Yeah, th this is what I had uh, uh, in my mind when starting that, yeah. Great, I will do that then. Anything else you wanna add on this topic, John Mark? No, it's looking good and uh, a very interesting experience. <laughs> For sure. Like it. <laughs> For sure. Okay, so then uh, we'll go on the next, the last item, which is CDCon. Um, CDF finally got back to me about our Jenkins Contributor Summit. 
ETA, this is just an ETA, is that the Jenkins Contributor Summit will be on Friday, June 10th. I asked for a Thursday, June 9th, so because uh, many of us has to fly back out, but most likely they said it's going to be June 10th, and they won't know for sure until they announce the agenda next week. Okay. Um, they will not have, they will not have like an exhibit, exhibitor booth, but I think they just have a small area, uh, probably with tables. I, they don't probably don't have the details on it because I asked a question and they couldn't answer it. Um, but I think right now they're looking at something quite small, um, for us if, you know, not, uh, to staff, but at this point, we don't know, we don't have enough information to plan how much staffing and what is needed and all that yet. Okay. Uh, Mark, can, uh, when do we start working on, on that subject? We're still waiting or? Oh, you, you... No, we could, we could certainly start any time. I think we, we ought to set ourselves a, an April 1 start and just agree uh -huh. that we're going to get started then. I haven't launched it yet, but I think it's, it's getting time. We need to we need to be sure that we we generate interest and that people who are going to be in person. Oleg did ask a question in governance yesterday. Hey, what about since CDCon is now allowing remote presentations, uh, should we have a remote um, contributor summit? And my thought was, or uh, what CD, CDCon is allowing is hybrid, so they're going to have both remote and local. But my, my thought was, I don't want to attempt a hybrid contributor summit. Let's either be all remote or all local. And for CDCon, I think it should be all local. We've got some good participants in Austin itself who are local to that community. And I think we'll have others who will be joining the conference, physically attending. So let's, I think we should do this one local and then maybe two or four weeks later, we could consider doing a, an all remote contributor summit. Yeah, I okay. think that makes sense. Just don't forget to that I'm, I'm available at least for the preparation part. And so I'm new to this, but uh, I and, think I can add my stone to it. I can help dig up some of the uh, material uh, that was used to set up for the last contribu online contributor summit. And that hopefully that can help us get the ball rolling, Jean-Marc. So I'll dig something up and I'll share with you. Yeah, I'm going to see. Just that I want, I'm busy with the, the, the mentoring and, and administration yes. of GSOC, but just a reminder, I can, I can give a hand to, and I'm yes. interested to learn. Although this one, because it's co-located, I think really it, it's best for Alyssa and, and me to work it together, John Mark. We appreciate your, your help with the organizing, but ultimately I've got strong incentive to do this because I'll physically be there running it. Right. Okay. Makes sense. Yes. I just watch <laughs> and, and learn from it. Okay. That's it. Thank you.